Hello, sixth formers, and welcome to this week's assembly with me, Mr. Brenham. So, I hope you're all keeping well. I hope you're all keeping safe. Things are going really positively for you uh, in this strange times and this uh, period of lockdown and remote learning. Quite often when I think about putting an assembly together, I think about what really do I think the message needs to be to the students that I support. And I have to say, I found it really difficult to think about a key theme, something in particular that actually I think needs to improve or we need to really focus on. And that's a real credit to yourselves. I think you've been fantastic. I think you've worked really, really hard. And I'll tell you why. You all know attitudes to learning. You're so comfortable with it. But I want to talk you through some of those key strands and how you have reflected that really well. You've been the role models the school want you to be. You've had outstanding attitudes to learning in these difficult and strange times, which nobody really is probably enjoying too much. Different sitting in a room with your computer. It's not the same as being in a classroom. And we know that we want you back in classrooms. But in the meantime, we have to do the best we possibly can. And you are doing that. You've been amazing. You've been willing to learn. The enthusiasm that it mentions in an outstanding attitude to learning that comes through in lessons. Teachers talk to me. Students are putting their hands up. They're posting in the chat. They're coming off microphones and contributing verbally. They're, they seem to be collectively really enthused. And the quality of the work that's being produced, I've seen it, is really, really good. We'll talk a little bit more about resilience shortly. But the self-motivation is really key. And it wasn't always showing in the last lockdown. But this time round, I see nothing but students in the waiting rooms, in the lobbies, waiting to be admitted to their lessons. They're on time, they're punctual. The standards that are being set by students are really high. It's almost as though you're not prepared to let this current situation get in your way. For year 13, in a really difficult situation, we don't know what your future looks like in terms of assessment. So you keep going and you keep producing really good quality work. Determined, well, that kind of links together. But you're planning ahead, you're working towards goals and ultimately you're kind of seeking the support that you need. And we've really welcomed some questions over the last couple of weeks from students. It's what we're here for. Keep in touch with us. Being reflective is really important too, more so than ever. You'll get feedback, but in different ways, either live in lessons or a piece of work that's been fed back. But teachers aren't there face to face with you to provide that. So you have to do it a little bit more independently. Equally, though, I'm really proud of how you are a community. You consider the way your actions do impact on all the learners in a really positive way. The other day in one of my lessons, a student asked a question in the chat. And whilst I was uploading another PowerPoint, by the time I saw the question, there'd been three responses from other students to support that learning. This is typical of the things that we're seeing. Resilience is one thing I do want to just talk to you about a little more. This slide talks about some of the key things that I think are really important right now and why resilience is important. We have to keep a vision to stay resilient. You have to know what you're working towards. For year 13, like I've said, that's difficult. But ultimately, you know, you will get the A-levels that you deserve and the grades you deserve. And those goals of university places and apprenticeships are still there. For year 12, it's about minimising any impact this has on your futures. So you've got control over that as well. Composure is important too at the moment. We understand that emotions will change between lessons, days, weeks, hours. Sometimes you'll be feeling really positive, other times maybe not so much so. What you need to remember is this is not your fault, you're doing the best you can and we're happy with that. So stay calm and in control and there's ways that you can do that and I'll talk about that a little more. Be reasoning. Sort yourself out in advance. That's a good sign of resilience. Solve any problems that you've got. You have to be that little bit more in independent. But you're planning ahead. You are working in a system where you're sticking to that timetable. You're online in the right times. I spoke about collaboration, of talking to each other as well as your teachers and supporting each other. And I really love the fact that you are a community. Tenacity, bouncing back, persistence, realism. I really like that. I see it all the time with you. One thing we don't talk about so much to you sometimes is sort of health and the well-being side of things outside of school. 
there's something I'm really keen to promote with you. To stay calm, to keep in mind what your purpose is, to be able to contribute to a wider group, to be positive, to be able to bounce back from setbacks, you need to be well yourself. You need to sleep well. You need to have the right nutrition. You need to exercise. One of the key things behind that is staying hydrated. And I make no apologies for sharing this with you, even though you are key stage five. You know your body is made up of nearly 60% water. When it's unhydrated, your concentration levels are less. You will not be performing to your optimum function. Keep that water next to you every day for all of those lessons. Stretch it out. I know, a little bit older than you, but I know sitting in the same position each day isn't very good for me. It's not good for my back. I regularly have to get up, wander around, stretch it out. Do this in between your lessons, at break times, at lunch times, where possible. Get outside in your gardens, have a walk up the road and back again. Loosen all of those muscles so that you can stay re feeling really well. I'm keen on this. Take a break from your tech. When you're not in a lesson, don't pick your phone up straight away. Don't, don't turn your computer on your Xbox. Keep away from it for a short while because at the minute you're seeing more screen time than ever and it can be very tiring. Take a break from it. Do something different. Put something down. On a different note, away from school, here's a challenge for some of you. Why don't you try something new this week? And if you do, I really want you to let me know. Because I want to promote this as a bit of a, a well-being sort of task. Our normal ways of life have been disrupted. There's no making any bones about it. We can't do some of the things that we used to all really enjoy doing at the moment. Those times will come back. But in the meantime, what are you doing to fill that space? Why don't we try something new? Uh, a few ideas off the top of my head that I've seen just in my house recently is different types of exercise. Why don't you try a type of exercise that you've, you've never tried before? Try something different. You always thought about putting those trainers on and going for that run. Give it a go. Small steps. I saw the other week my wife decided to do some baking. I got home and I didn't recognise it. But she's really enjoyed it. So why don't you find a recipe? Bake something. Why don't you? Cook a meal for the family. If you've never done it before, why don't you cook a meal for the family? Do something different. Read if you haven't read for a while, but read for pleasure. Lots of things that you could be doing. Make yourself a, a January to-do list. And if you do do something different, I really want to know. So I'd like to talk about it next time. Take something out of your current situation. Find a new hobby. Do something you've not done for a long time. Connect with a friend that you've not spoken to for a while. So this is a really positive assembly. I'm delighted to be able to do it because I'm so impressed. Attendance is over 94% for all of you in all of our lessons. It's phenomenal. It's brilliant. It's not 100% and I'm never happy, you know that, but it's phenomenal. Your work ethic. The feedback from teachers, the progress you're still making, the commitment to your sixth form studies, the example you are setting for the rest of the school is superb. So you're doing everything that's expected to so do something new. Until next time, folks, take really good care of yourselves and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye bye for now.